Oh, fucking hell, my laptop wasn't properly using my microphone! Of course it wasn't. Because I didn't plug it in right away the last time that I loaded up my desktop. Why does OBS switch over things then? Ugh, I hate that. I wish there was a setting to turn that off. <laughs> it should be using a defaulted thing. Maybe I should, like, I don't know, change a setting in OBS somewhere <laughs> to make sure that it does not change automatically. Do not automatically find audio devices or some shit. Ugh. Anyways, hi. Sorry. You probably saw me moving around and stuff, but there was nothing going on. <laughs> but there was nothing coming through. Oh, jeez. Um, you know, I should really try and find the, uh, Beyond the Void Tasty art and put that on here, as well as for, like, some of the other stuff. I don't know why, um, there is no art for Beyond the Void when I got it from Tasty. It just didn't have it. Which makes me suspicious of, uh, of what <laughs> Tasty does sometimes. But, like, they have free downloads and loads of people are happy to, or have been at least in the past, happy to do stuff with them. I know Arcana doesn't really much anymore, but that's, mm, or at least last I checked. I didn't see anything new from Arcana on, <laughs> on Tasty. So who knows? Um, also, that isn't playing because I paused it. I wanted to wait for the world to load in. All right. Uh, everything's going to be a little bit slow because stuff's loading in. But today, I want to do the rail bridge design. Because I've decided, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to elevate these. I ultimately think that it's probably for the best to make sure that they are elevated. Um, just like, reasonably speaking, yes, I could have a lot of them going through, like, rolling hills close to the ground, and I'll probably also design some areas that do that, but, 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 I think I want to have it mostly be on bridges just so that animals don't come across it, you know? Um... Though, to be fair, there aren't going to be a lot of animals that have time to uh, generate and then, like, stay in place. <laughs> or, like, walk across uh, most of the time. Uh, though hostile mobs might, uh, most of what I'm probably going to wind up doing is just, like, uh, including passable lighting blocks or something like that uh, somewhere hidden within the tracks. So, what I can do, I should really add EMC values to all of these seeds. You know what? Fuck it. All right. What? Okay. Uh, pumpkin are 36. Wow. So, most of these are uh, 16 EMC, so I'll just grab one of each of these. I don't want to accidentally uh, set it so that they wind up having eight apiece. Project E, set EMC, 16. I've done this loads of times for mod packs, so I just know this command by heart. <laughs> uh, I'm so used to doing it for seeds and stuff. It's so, it's so kind of sad, honestly, that there isn't a better um, API or something with which you can get um, seeds and. Uh, like the seed type and just add a default EMC value to all the ones that don't elect to be in the standard seed group or whatever. 
Um, I mean, it would be really cool if more things had Project E compatibility um, built in, like, as a really simple augment. Like, hey, here is an exclude or whatever. Like, I don't want my seeds to be involved. Or I do want my seeds to be involved. Or, like, I want to have them be in, like, a double cost value. Or, like, be in a pumpkin seed value or whatever. Um, I think, yeah, it's entirely due to the value of a pumpkin being 144, which is 12 squared. I don't know why pumpkins are that much, but whatever. Anyways. <laughs> why does the beat drop the moment I get to my bed? I find that funny, personally. Yeah. All right. So, uh, with Project E, I can actually. I guess I'll reload. This will take a moment. Everything's going to be a bit stuttery. It'll tell us when reloading is finished. Um... You know, I wish there was a, some, uh, some sort of better music viewer for, um... For me to use somewhere. Oh, there it goes, not responding. Well, I don't know if, um, it's done yet. It usually says, or at least it used to, uh, say when it was done with the reloading. Right, I don't have a separate axe anymore. Alright. So. I think I need probably... Well, I guess if I'm going to do designs, I'm probably going to do a lot of copy-pasting. Uh, it's kind of sad that I can't do, like, some sort of um, copy-pasting track layer or something like that. Um, like a Farrell type situation. Uh, if anyone recognizes that mod from uh, Factorio. Is Farl even still around? Uh, that would be Factorio Automated Rail Layer, I believe. Or Factory? Mm. Uh, something like that. Factory or Factorio. Uh, the whole point was you would have a Farl train and you would create a blueprint for different directions which your train would place rails with like um uh light poles or or not light poles uh power poles uh i was the one who played with the lighted power poles so i always wound up having uh power poles that themselves had lights uh just so that i could see my rails and i believe it was free power wise or it was like dirt cheap <laughs> to just have the lighted power poles. Um, the uh, the other things that you would generally have would be like some gun turrets or laser turrets, walls, um, stuff like that. Uh, also concrete. A lot of people, I think, laid down concrete and f ground tiles with their farl. Um it could definitely be interesting and useful to have something like that for here. But knowing how the rails work... Well, they already have a rail builder. Um, if I look up the transit, um, they have the... Yeah, the bridge creators. Um, it would be kind of interesting if there was a way for you to do a blueprinted version of this. 
um, where it would like create segments based on what you've uh, submitted, I guess. Um, but the whole thing with the bridge creator is that, and also the rails, is that they have splined curves, meaning they are steepest in the middle of the section from the uh, the two like anchor points that you dictate um, using the rail nodes. Like it, it doesn't have a. In order to have a smooth line, it is, uh, dare I say, over smoothed going in and out, especially considering a lot of the time you might have uh, nodes that are like in tandem going up at different angles and stuff. So it winds up feeling like it's a like a bunny hill almost like it's going up. Whoop, whoop. I just made a hand gesture like anyone could see that. So it's like, whoop, whoop, whoop. so it's weirdly stair steppy. Anyways, so um, that probably would get in the way of things actually working right. Mm, whatever. I can try. I can try. Uh, whatever. I'm I'm just I'm just gonna make do. Um so uh maybe I build this design kind of in the middle of nowhere. I'll build it in the open field. This will give me a good sense of like what I'm gonna do around the base of it. Oh, I am definitely too tall to be able to go under things now. Oh, my little dragon is growing up so fast. Uh, young, two out of ten. All right. So, um, oh, well, I guess it finished, which means I can just throw those away. And never have to deal with them again. All right. Oh. I'll just turn the rest of those into slabs as well. Um, what else was I going to grab? Uh, well, I don't just want to make it out of stone bricks. Stone bricks, I think, are going to be the main, like, layer below the rails. I just don't think I want it to be the support main. Um, I'm thinking I'll mix... I know it's pretty basic, but it's going to be, like, andesite, probably. <laughs> Polished andesite. Um, actually, no, screw it. We're in modded. What... What chipped stuff? Or not uh at chipped. So, um I'm gonna need to move my phone over to this side. I should really have it over to the left instead of the right, because this way I can see all of the blocks in JEI. Um, I'm using my phone to read my chat instead of having it pulled up uh and like taking up a load more memory on my second screen. This way I can play music, yay! <laughs> oh gosh, this combination of mods takes up so much fucking use CPU power. It's so weird, it's so bad. Well, it's not weird, it's it's actually kind of expected. Um, I don't know which which uh, is so responsible. I'm, I'm guessing it's mostly the rails and the dragon survival. But which of those is worse, I do not know. Um, however, I still love both of them. So the whole point is to use them. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna use them anyways. So, um, 
I mean, I do have a Mason's workbench, right? I think so. Um, Right, so they do have different tags and stuff. So... I could give all of these EMC values. <laughs> I mean, in theory. Um, ooh, now that I think about it, I also could do, like... Um, I could do diorite stuff. Uh, there's quartz. Sad stone carving. What? Is it just stone that's crying, or...? I don't know. Meh. Well, I don't know which to use right now. Um. Oh, right. I have both the exchanging and the building gadget right now. And the destruction gadget. I was like, wait, did I already make the copy paste? No, I did not. Ooh, that reminds me. So what goes into the copy-paste gadget? Uh, this isn't too bad. Was there one that required ender pearls? No, I already made those because of the fact that you can exchange for ender pearls. Didn't I? Yeah, this was the one that required emeralds. Or, not emeralds, ender pearls. Figured that out. I should really have my bed on the move. Uh... Ow! Me. Bastards. <laughs> I'm sleeping outside in the rain. Me. Yes, I know I can fly, actually. gonna grab a whole new stack because I go through food like crazy okay so copy paste I need um two emeralds bit of redstone and iron and a lapis lazuli I'm just grabbing the whole blocks because it's easier to find them. <laughs> All right, so template. Well, um, template manager. Okay. Uh, requires two more emeralds, some gold. And then break that in the gold. 
I was like, wait, what? <laughs> All right. Create copies of those. Um, I would also like, I should make an anvil. Um, Did I not add this? Oh, wait. I don't think I added the belt pouch at all yet because this has two slots and by default it has two slots. Okay, that would be why. Yeah, I really should, okay. Belt pouch. Um, I'll grab a second one out. Why not? That way I can store all my tools when I need to. Um, now, anvil. Alright, go to the vanilla inventory. Grab out my belt. Oh. I'm going to need to grab more experience. Okay. That's fine. I'll I'll stick with having one tool out for now. I'll just have to remember it for a possible future time if I want to always hide a tool. Or whatever. All right. Handy handy. So, inserted, and now I can go back home. Uh, is alt. Not tab. Oops. Nope. Uh, alt B. No, that's bobbles. Okay. What is what is my control for uh Ah it is apostrophe There we go Wow All right, charge this for me, thank you. All right, so. Mason's workbench, here indeed. Um, I can also set down the template manager. Um, Yeah, this doesn't need power. Okay. Um, I don't know where to put it. So, hmm. Here we'll do. This place isn't... Ah! Uh... Uh, no, I don't know if this place is chunk loaded. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's not. Uh, it would be kind of sad if it was, because that would mean that my villagers would be ever more likely to die. Just all the time. <laughs> that would be really bad. Um, although, to be fair, I don't need them for free EMC as much anymore. It is, it would be kind of sad. 
<laughs> because they're like, the ones that I was just around and I wasn't even the one who killed them. Like, come on. Uh, <laughs> that sounds really suspicious, not gonna lie. <laughs> Don't take that out of context. Uh, I'm, I'm a good dragon. I, I want to I wanna build railways for you. The, the railway. Travel. <laughs> this isn't monorail. This is <laughs> this is a real railway. It can actually get you places. Um. Okay, so philosopher's workbench. I have no idea what that one's required for. Okay, so um. Andesite. Granite. Um. Diorite. Uh, normal stone. Mossy cobblestone. Normal cobblestone. Uh. Smooth stone. Can that be used in places? It can be used in the mason's workbench. For some stone structure. Okay. Uh, is it the same stuff as normal stone? No, it is not. Okay. Let's find out. I should really be making multiple of all of these. Also, there are so many I might not be able to reasonably choose uh, and make all of them. That actually might be a bit of a problem. I should stop. I should just make things that seem interesting. Because, like, am I going to use unamused stone carving? No, I don't think I will. Let me just turn that back into stone. Um, I should really look at most of these textures first. Okay, maybe I should make more inlaid smooth stone. Because it looks like it has a uh, CTM texture. Or maybe not. Uh, no. <laughs> Polished could look interesting. I like that. Um, eh, I'm not liking that as much. This is interesting, but I don't think, hmm. I don't know. Actually, I do kind of like that. That's like a less rough version of diorite. Um, honestly, I don't hate it. I honestly think I could use that somewhere, but I don't know. Um, I'm going to save that, though. Uh, engraved. Tiny brick bordered. Okay, actually, I could use... All but the laid, probably. So I should really give all of these EMC values. Um, maybe I'll make a chest real quick. Just as like a thing with which I can <laughs> uh, store all of the stone types that I'm going to give EMC values to. So that I can um, make infinite amounts of them and not have to just manually go through here, select all the things, so that I can do it on the fly. I don't want to have to bring my mason's workbench everywhere. <laughs> like, as cool as it looks, it is annoying to have to bring out a stone cutter all the time. And, like, I don't like having to make slabs. Like, hmm. Oh. 
Of course I made it in the wrong way. Of course. Okay. Just, just give me a chest, please. Um... So these are all ones that I want to give EMC values to. Uh... Brick bordered. Offset. Tiny brick bordered. Brick bordered. Offset. Tile or these are, I guess, bricks. This should really say smooth stone bricks or whatever. Oh. It says offset smooth stone and then smooth stone. Eh, whatever. Uh, eroded? What is you what the fuck okay can you stop please you don't even have useful items get away from me um etched inscribed thick inlaid Overlapping, cracked, disordered, loaded. Oh, like a lodestone. Okay. Cracked, smooth stone. Those are like cracked bricks, I guess. Uh, sanded smooth stone? Ew. <laughs> the problem is, of course, when it starts to look like, um... You know. Uh, is this the same? Why do I feel like this isn't the same list all the time? Or am I just missing some? I don't know. Legitimately. Um, tiled bordered smooth stone, tiled smooth stone column. Ah, this does have a connected texture. Okay, I was making sure that the connected textures actually worked here. I like that. Let's let's take a quick look at all the textures that they have. Um this one. Hmm. That could actually be a really cool capstone. As expected, that one's pretty nice. Um this is surprisingly less smooth than I thought it would be. But also I don't hate it. I wanna have options, you know. Stacked, that's pretty plain, but not bad. Oh. I got two of the offset. Okay. Offset looks nice. Brick bordered. Uh, maybe I should make more brick bordered. Uh, where is brick bordered? Here's brick bordered. No, they don't connect. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna... Uh, EMC the brick bordered one. Oh, you are really getting on my nerves. Oh boy.
is this CTM as well? I don't know. Just ignore it and it might go away. Uh, smooth stone, big bricks, weathered, fancy smooth stone pillar, rocky, curvy, layered. Why do I feel like this isn't, like, evenly reacting somehow? Hmm. I actually kind of don't like that. I thought, oh, simple, that should be nice. No, it wasn't. Somehow, it was the worst. <laughs> um, okay, yeah. I quite like this. That is simple. That's not a CTM texture, but uh, so I'm not gonna leave multiple in there. Um, let's. Ooh, yeah, the big bricks. Uh. Okay. It would be really, really nice if I could stop doing that. <laughs> okay, so the bricks are two blocks wide, but not too tall, seemingly. Hmm. Interesting. I don't hate it. So, I'll keep them. It's not very good. They have a very weird limited CTM. Or maybe the textures don't update right away? Ugh, why is that not there? Uh. Or is the analysis just so slow that it's not updating properly? Yeah. Uh, whatever. Maybe these aren't the right kind of things that I should be using anyway. So, hmm. 
What does the fancy smooth one look like though? Cause it looks like it could be good. Hmm. I don't dislike that. All right, smooth stone, you're done. All right. So, mossy cobblestone and cobblestone. Well, actually, if I do cobblestone, then I'll do the mossy. Polished, rough, inlaid bricks. Hmm. If I was going for a more... Uh, I don't know what feel would best describe that, but... That kind of feel. <laughs> Maybe I would do that, but I don't know. I'm just not feeling it. Um, I don't know. I feel like most of these textures have, like, too much dark relief to them. Um, but I usually try and give cobblestone a try, because sometimes it really surprises you. Um, what is this checkered tile look? Hmm. Definitely interesting. I might, I might save that for something else. Spiraled, tiled, uh, vertical cut. This I likely will keep, because that doesn't look too bad. Uh, where's the stacked? I gave it a try. That's all that matters. Okay, so. These are basically just more varieties of bricks, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Saving those because I will add them to my blueprint. Those will be very pretty. I know that I have to use these, so I might as well. Ooh, is it possible to turn them into Ooh, I don't have t I don't have slabs of them. Hmm. Um That's fine, since they work with normal stone brick. I can just use stone brick slabs. Ay ay ay. You are a disaster right now. You are getting in my way. And like, not even just in me moving and stuff, like, you are just annoying. Do you know that? You are just annoying. I really should upgrade a lot of these to the Mark IIs. Uh, 
uh, did I fully upgrade this to Mark II's? I believe so. The energy relay mark or antimatter relay mark ones are fine. Um, I accidentally broke the one that was at the top. That was totally fine. Yeah. I sometimes break things too fast. It is it is very bad. All that's left are these two on this power flower, and then it's done. Cool. Alright. Just casual 100,000 DMC. Though, to be fair, that is chump change compared to what I had before, which was several hundred. But, you know, these things come and go. Uh, stone mini tiles. What the fuck are you doing to me? <laughs> Please control your llamas and keep them from doing that to me. I'm gonna look at that because that is not the same as the um, vertical cut, right? That actually could work with basalt. What kind of sword do I have? A stone sword. And now, I do believe all of the evidence is gone. Now it should be. 
Uh, any stray blood stains or anything? No? Okay. We all know what we did with wandering traders. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like stone is mostly a bust as well. Um, yeah, that's a good texture. Alright, and then what's the difference between the cracked and the vertical? Um, okay. I'll take both, actually. And then tiled. Ew, no. Uh, what I'm, the reason why I'm doing it like this is so that when I am, uh, just EMC inserting all of those, I can just take this stone and then just shove it all in. Just like, admittedly, I could throw stacks in. Hmm. That probably would be easier. I am also using it to recognize what is like a connected texture mostly or like a you know wide texture yeah where it's like uh, shifted throughout the world and whatever uh, whatever random configuration <laughs> all right die right uh, chipped has a polished die right is this different than the normal polished diorite? Yes, it is. Okay. The more you know. Uh, tiny brick border. Uh, inlaid, meh. I'm obviously gonna grab all the bricks and tiles. Because those seem to look pretty alright. Cut blank. Yes, this is also pretty good. Um, I will need another chest. She. Boop, boop. <laughs> Rounded, meh. Uh, the checkered, obviously. The stacked, and normal tiled. What does tiled look like? Uh, vertical seems to usually be good. What do these ones look like? Eh. A little dragon scaly, actually. Now I have to find a use for these. One of them, anyway. Maybe I pull back out the other <laughs> uh, stone types. Because, actually, that looks pretty alright, too. Um... So I'll grab the cobblestone, the smooth stone, and the stone. It's near the bottom. Not gonna lie, that actually looks pretty all right in the cobblestone. At least in the hot bar. Uh, might still be slightly too high contrast, though I do like the stone version. So, um, you know what? I'll keep the cobblestone version too. Why not? 
all of a sudden I've discovered scales basically in a texture form and I am drawn to them. Uh, do I have the, yep, I have the stacked and the vertical and I think I am done with the die right then. All right, granite. Polished, but also I need to do the Minecraft polished. Yeah. Hmm. Does Laid look good in this? I'm just grabbing bricks of all of them. Just kind of because bricks usually look pretty alright. And if I'm not going to lie, I could find a use for bricks for all of these. And of course, tiles also look pretty good. Um, but, so... In Conquest Reforged, I just realized I totally destroyed this. Oh, but Maddox Till, not... This is the problem of not having a normal shovel. Oh, whatever. Um, so in Conquest Reforged, there is... Ooh, this is a really weird repeating bit right there. That, that's a little annoying. But you know what? It's fine. Um, so in Conquest Reforged, there is a really, really good block called Roman Tiles. Um, or it's something along those lines. It, Roman Roads or Roman Tiles. It winds up being really, really good for walkways and things of that nature. And I'm not going to lie. I actually think that looks a little bit like it. Um... Flat granite tiles, that does not look flat. Hmm. My natural pickaxe is coming in handy. Oh, right, I was just gonna leave them all. Stacked. Tiled. Sure, I'll grab the tech checkered because I do like check checkered textures. Wait a minute, there's an actual scales texture. Ooh, this could probably be good for, like, roofs and stuff, especially the granite. Ooh, pretty. Okay, I'm already running out of room again. <laughs> um, I might have to get back out stone really fast. And do stone scales. Because I think normal stone has the right color for that. Uh, stone scales. Ooh, I think it is good. Yes. I bet andesite will also be pretty good, but it might be like, you know, that slightly weird color. Um. Uh, why are these ordered the way they are? Oh, no. <laughs> Chipped, what is wrong with your name ordering and stuff? Oh no. Your sword order is bad. Oh boy. Okay. Well. Whatever. Oh, we can't put bricks in here. Okay. The polished andesite. Um... Andesite mini tiles and bricks. The blank, because I didn't grab it for everything. Um, if 
flat tiles in this one almost certainly look really good. Hmm. I'll also grab the cracked tiles. The cracked version. Um, rounded? Eh. Small bricks. Yeah, you will look alright. I'm just saying it. Not necessarily knowing if it's going to be true. Vertical cut. This tiled variety actually looks alright, though. And the site scales. I don't hate it. Okay. And the vertical corner. Mm. I think these look more like scales um, that I want to use than these. Though these can be better used as roof, I, uh, roof elements, I think. So. I think I have all of my items. Let's start assigning EMC values. Oh boy. So, um, maybe I need. Do I not have carry on installed? Wait a minute. Of course I don't. I'm a dragon. Yeah, fine. I'll grab another chest. Um, I'm going to put it right there, and it is for all the stuff that I don't want to deal with when I'm EMCing. Uh, yeah. I should really make slabs there. That would make it easier to move. Spruce. Oh no, please stop placing the slabs. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I knew I would find a good use for that. Um. Alright. Well, when I'm calculating out all the EMC values, I guess I can just grab everything. Um, okay, hold on. I need to make sure that it's not... Stone is all going to have to be one, because otherwise it doesn't make sense. Uh, stone, trodden stone, stone, andesite, andesite. Uh, smooth stone as well, now that I think about it. Uh, is this all of the andesite stuff? Okay. I need to, for all of these, grab the stuff that is... 16 EMC, and then... Which would, you know, not be the cobblestone or stone, but all the diorite and granite. Ah, it just barely doesn't fit in here. 
Okay. Oh, great. Now I can't really see the commands all that well. Not like you could either. Oh, so it does actually set it to... Okay. Actually, if I just go through... Entire rows at a time... This is gonna be a lot of custom values. But this sort of admin stuff is necessary. Um, if you don't know how to do quick commands like this, uh, you just type it in once and then you do slash up arrow return. Slash up arrow return. Slash up arrow return. Scroll slash up arrow return. Scroll slash up arrow return. It is just a lot of this. Whenever you do so much EMC work. This is the main reason why I avoid doing it on camera. But you know what? Today we're doing it. And by we, I mean, I mean entirely me. Because who the f fuck else is helping me? <laughs> Ah, uh, good grief. Anyways, all these stone types are 16 EMC, right? Yes, I'm remembering correctly. Eh, if I do it a second time, it doesn't, like, cause problems. It's just, like... You ran it twice! Inefficient. Uh... I just realized I'm going to need another chest. Alright. Um, the rest of these are all stone or smooth stone uh, derivatives and smooth stone like stone has an EMC value of one. Okay, so all the rest of these are one EMC piece. Okay. There's my final 16er. And now, all the rest are one. I need to prepare my pickaxe. It's the ADHD kicking in. Eee, bright lights! <laughs> No, don't throw it. All right. Scroll slash up, enter. Scroll slash up, enter. Scroll slash up. Slash up, enter. Slash up, enter. Slash up, enter. If I find out I've missed any, I will be 
kind of angry. Kind of. I mean, it's easy to miss one. Also, you may think, Guy, you have basically infinite EMC. What does it matter if these are 1 and the other ones are 16? And to that I answer you, consistency. Literally just that. Accidentally included andesite in there. Yay! Alright. Oh, enter. Scroll slash up. Enter. Scroll slash up. Enter. Just a lot of buttons and then going with my hand back and forth between the mouse and these. I mean, it could have my one hand moving along the number keys, but it feels comfortable to have it set at WASDA and stay at WASDA. You know? Slash reload. I can barely see what I'm typing because my phone is in the way. <laughs> oh boy. Uh oh, it won't let me open my inventory. I know it takes a hot minute for things to actually get there. Um, okay, so so it's showing me EMC values. Well, some of them are probably cached. Oop. I think it's doing the final reload. There it goes. Okay. Did I miss any? Perfect. Yeah. Uh. Now I can just toss them all into my transmutation tablet and now I have loads more varieties of things with which to build. Ah, perfect. Okay. I'm not going to vein mine these because, one, they're entities. Why would you vein mine an entity? Two, this chest is right here. And that has all my stuff in it. Uh, I love the one inventory mod that... Um, Uh, how do I say it? Uh, <laughs> uh, it's that mouse scroll wheel one that lets you just run along holding down the mouse button and then it's just all gone. That mod. I really like that mod. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, ugh, I was meaning to actually do the construction today, but I might not wind up doing it. Also, I should keep the template manager on me. Boy, oh 
boy. So many of these. As always, the caveat, I am not, I have not asked permission from Dane Terry to use these. <laughs> to use his music. <laughs> I use it because I like it. And I beg of you not to sue me. Do be wary of Googling this podcast. One, because you might be led astray because its name is literally just Dream Boy. Like, what does that even do? Uh, but two... It is adult, and I will say no more. Because YouTube doesn't want you to uh, promote, quote-unquote, adult content. Um, it's still an expectation to link to games with which you are playing including adult games that you have like censored and youtube actually has they don't have a great policy with it but they at least recognize sometimes things happen and we will be lenient on explicit scenes so long as they aren't pornographic in their intended consumption i guess basically the whole point is it isn't meant to be um meant for gratification that's what it is it isn't meant to be gratuitous just a little bit elitist mm. but okay i'll respect your boundaries Yes, I like that. I quite like that. Hmm, yes. I wasn't thinking I was gonna run into this today, but okay. I added this to, <laughs> to this loop because I made a thing. If you know the Phantom of the Opera, you... I mean, this is that. This is the third version of the song that I wound up freaking making. I think I've perfected it, mostly. It's entirely instrumental, though. And it also doesn't have the second verse. Or, not second verse. Uh, the second... No, fourth. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh... The second post-verse? I don't know. It feels like the, um, third and fourth verses are less similar to the uh, first two. Like it's a bridge of sorts. I uh, I don't know. Or not a bridge. A post-chorus or something. But uh, they have uh, this section right here. Though you turn from me to glance behind. That part is, I think, a pre-chorus. If you want to be technical about things. Um, anyways, it's 9 o'clock. I really should... I knew it was going to be a short stream today, but... Mm, I really should have planned my time better. Because <laughs> I wound up just doing administrative... Just, like, tidying all, all stream. Um, I was thinking, oh yeah, I'll do, I'll do really quick, like... Uh, build palette stuff or like figure out a tiny template and then just be able to copy paste it because I wanted to time limit myself so that I would build something simple that wouldn't require too many resources and like I don't feel like having to build a make a bunch of builders paste or whatever because um... I forget how you make construction paste All right, Google time. I'm 
pausing properly. Uh, building gadgets. Construction paste. Um, exchanging gadget. Uh, go away, Vegeta. Sorry, Vegeta, but not right now. Um, paste. Um, if you hover your mouse over the gadget and press shift, you can see a list of all the blocks you need for one paste. Neat. Um, edit placement, the deconstruction gadget, settings and overlay, connected area, uh, anchor, undo, construction blocks. And make the look of any block in the game. When using gadgets, the gadget will prioritize placing blocks you have in your inventory. When you ran out of a block, the gadget will use construction paste as a substitute. One construction place can be used to form one block. Blocks formed by construction paste will look identical to the block which is mimicking, but not act identically. A mimic construction paste glowstone will not emit light, for example. Mimic sand will not fall. Mimicked redstone blocks do not emit a redstone signal. Breaking these mimic blocks will yield construction paste. Acquiring it. Okay. Uh, construction block powder using the recipe in JEI. Oh. Okay. How the fuck do you make dents? Uh. Or put in a hydrator. Both methods result in dense construction blocks. Crushing dense construction blocks will yield four dense construction chunks, and crushing one dense construction chunk will yield four construction paste. Alternatively, place the dense construction blocks down and paste them, break them with a pickaxe to yield one to three construction paste. Okay, so I have to crush them. So, I don't have a mod that lets me do that? Do they mean crush with, like, a machine? Or, because don't I have thermal? Yeah, I have thermal installed. <sighs> oh, boy. This is going to be annoying as hell. Okay. Okay, what, whatever. I'm just, I'm just gonna... Um, lapis, sand, clay. Right. I will teach that. Um, I got one. Yay. Um, oh boy. Can I use this in, like, a hydrator or something? No. One would have thought that someone would have helped Direwolf at least try to code some sort of exception system or, like, something. I don't know. I was about to say, also, I seem to mostly only be getting one. No, I'm, I'm occasionally getting more. Okay. I think I got four that time. I got five that time. Got three. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it's a real, real variety of what you actually wind up getting. Uh, 
Too bad this doesn't have a better tool, unlike most other things. I am really fast at breaking, but this I don't I don't seem to be fast at. <laughs> um I'm just getting a load of construction pace now. I really I really should and I really should end the stream. <laughs> Uh, so, I guess, let me start an outro. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed <laughs> me ramble and do a bunch of really random stuff that didn't actually go anywhere. Um, hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more. Um, I'm thinking that the template, I should, um, Do I want to make specifically and only a, um, I really should break all of this. Wait a minute. I just remembered. If you undo. Okay. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Uh, building gadget. What in the fuck? Oh, it was... Okay, it was there. I was like, wait, what? Did it not place on top? <laughs> no, no, it placed. Okay, now I just gotta wait for these two. Ah, construction paste. Okay. Uh, Undo is what? you okay can't just be you can't be that either okay Uh, semicolon? What the? Oh. I guess fine. Be that way. <laughs> All right, I guess I can just make paste containers. I'll probably make a diamond tier one. So I'll need a 16 of these, four of these, and then one of these. Oh boy, let's let's just do it real fast before I forget. <laughs> and then I can end the stream. Iron gold. And diamond. So. Uh, I'm going to need another stack of iron. Because I need iron E.
Perfect. It goes into the paste container. All right. That should do it for me. Um, I have definitely overstayed my time. So I'll see you next week. Uh, maybe. There is a chance that I might not be here next week. Uh, and just like that, I'm back over a million again. Almost to 1.1 million. Wow. I do love these power flowers. All right. That should do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Bye. Look at me. I'm fabulous. <laughs>